used to be that kids would come in and they'd have homework assignments on how to uh, draw the anatomy of some animal or another, like the digestion of a duck or the circulatory system of an elephant, and we had a horrible time trying to find answers to those questions. Then Marshall Cavendish put out a set called Animal and Plant Anatomy. It's wonderful. It, it has all kinds of animals, like here we have the uh, crocodile, it has their skeletal system, it talks about different kinds the external anatomy, um, comparative anatomy, comparing out crocodiles and gators, uh, their um, skeletal system, how they communicate by smell, uh, ancient crocodiles, muscular system, and I believe, yes, they've got the circulatory, respiratory, and digestive system. So it has all kinds of animals. It even has some plants. This is the animal and plant anatomy. Um, and the call number is in the reference section, 571.3 animal. By chance, if your, your animal, whatever you're looking for, is not in this set, we still do have um, the animal anatomy on file. And this is one of the facts on file sets that has line drawings. Um, easy, very easy to photocopy. And so this happens to be the uh, structural features of an arrowworm. And that's Animal Anatomy on File, reference 591.4022 uh, Animal.